Today I have a beautiful spaghetti with wild green recipe for you. Super easy, ready in as long as it takes for your pasta to cook. Literally, it's like a 10, 15 minute recipe and the flavors are so intense. For today's recipe, first of all, I am using a number five spaghetti, which here in Greece or in North America would be like a bugatini. And there's all over again. So I'm just gonna take enough here for a couple people or so. We all know how the portion control thing works here. The greens that I'm using for today's recipe are wild dandelions. Dandelions that were caught from the area or picked actually from the area here. Uh, I didn't pick them, but they were picked uh, locally. You guys see a weed problem, we see our next meal. For this recipe, you can use simply dandelions, you can use uh, Swiss chard, you can use collard greens, you can use amaranth, you can use spinach, you can use just about any broccoli, broccolini, any of those leafy greens will work. And I'm just gonna take a bunch, don't ask me exactly how much because it's a bunch. Uh, and that's basically how I cook. And there's Oliver again uh, wanting something. So I'm just gonna put, place them here. Take a couple of the not so good ones out. And what I'm gonna do is very simply just leave them in there, throw the lid on there, and they're gonna be good to go in no time. So basically they're gonna cook along with our pasta. So now that my pasta and my greens are well on their way, time to get the makings of our sauce. And this is super, super simple, super delicious. And you're gonna think, how is it possible? But it is, watch. I'm gonna do a fairly generous amount of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. It's probably somewhere between a quarter and a third of a cup. This is what's gonna make up our, our actual sauce itself. I'm also gonna do a couple, three uh, garlic cloves. Here's the thing, if you want one garlic clove, use one, not a big deal. If you want more garlic, which really, there really is never too much garlic, use more. And all I'm gonna do is take my garlic, peel it, and simply throw it in the olive oil hole. So that way we'll have on a lower level or a lower heat level, I'm not gonna have the, the garlic burn. It's gonna more like infuse the, the oil for, for us, for our pasta. There. And that's just perfect right there, just humming away. Our pasta and our greens are doing amazing. They're ready to go almost, not quite. I'm also gonna get a little bit of parsley, and you don't need much for this. You need maybe a quarter cup for the whole dish. I'm gonna turn my pasta off now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cooking it in my, my pan here. I get ready for a little bit of sizzle, and that's okay. I'm good with that. Let me bring it actually a little bit closer here, and that way we're not losing our pasta over the stove. I will also tell you that the, the greens were cut to about the same length as the pasta, so that way when you're eating this, uh, it's not gonna be difficult to eat. Now, as that cooks, you can also add some more pasta water to this, because I'm also gonna add some cheese. And that will actually make up our sauce for this. So, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of parsley. Give that a nice little toss there. Perfect. Just like that. I've seen people use feta. I've seen people use Parmesan. And I'm just gonna give this a fairly generous amount of kefalotiri. And I'm just gonna stir it around, incorporate everything. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Look at, the, look at how vibrant and green the color of the, the dandelion is. Absolutely delicious. So this is pretty much ready to go. Told you, there's nothing to this. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I'm gonna do the juice of one lemon for this. And 
it's going to actually put this over the top. Just make sure the pits don't go in. But even if they do, nobody ever died of eating a pit, a lemon pit. So that will go in there. And if this is like a weeknight or whatever, not a big deal. You're literally done in like no time. Let me just try this out here. I'm a piece of green here too. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My friends, this is so delicious, so simple, unbelievable. You got the olive oil, the garlic, the greens, the lemon. This is almost like a, a flavor explosion in your mouth. Now, if I were gonna plate that up and serve that on a table, I would also do a little drizzle of my extra virgin olive oil right on top. It is, it is enough to send this over the top. So that's it for this episode on my spaghetti with wild greens, a super 10, 15 minute recipe. As long as your pasta takes to cook, that's how long this recipe takes. Thank you so much for watching for this recipe and many others. Check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, I will definitely see you on the next one. Much love from Greece. Bye for now.